Hi everyone, I'm Tom Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to calculate an odds ratio from 2x2 contingency table with five different methods. There are two reference sites I have used for this video. According to Wikipedia, an odds ratio is a statistic that quantifies the strengths of the association between two events. Typically, it means row and column. If the odds ratio is equal to 1, it means two events are independent. There is an example as a 2x2 two two continuous table. We can change this matrix format into data frame format. Once we upload this data into R, we can get odds ratio and confidence interval from EPI tab function, from EPI tools library by specifying x, which is the output of x tabs function in R. Based on this data frame uh, from this matrix, I would like to show you how to calculate the odd ratio by five different methods. So cell probability can be calculated by cell frequency over sum of total frequency. Then the sum of probability must be 1. The log of probability can be calculated by log of probability. All right. Then the first way is to use log of probability. We can consider, uh, we can use this formula. So log of odds ratio can be calculated by log of P11 minus log of P12 minus log of p21 plus log of p22 All right this is log of odds ratio so we can calculate odds ratio by taking exponential function All right then the second method is to use uh, frequency i think this is the most familiar way to calculate odds ratio from 2 by 2 contingency table so, uh, okay, the first cell times the last cell and over 1,2 cells times 2,1 cells. Okay, All right. The third way and the first, uh, the first way is to use uh, marginal probability. So let's get a row marginal probability. We can get uh, first row over uh, this one, this one. Okay. And the first row uh, marginal probability for 1,2 cell can be calculated by C3 over C2 plus. C3. Right, then let's move on. Uh, for a second row marginal probability, can be calculated by 17 over 17 plus 122. And 122 over 17 plus 122. Right. Let's get a column marginal probability. So we need to consider column B here. Uh, 31 over 31 plus 17. Yeah. Uh, first column here. And 17 over 31 plus 17. Okay, then the second column, uh, marginal probability, can be calculated by 109 over 109 plus 122. And 122 over this cell plus 122. 
Right, then uh, let's calculate odds ratio from row marginal probability. It can be calculated by G2 uh, over G3 over G4 over G5. And from color marginal probability, H2 over H4 over H3 over H5. Cool. So the last method is to use log linear model uh, with dummy coding. So, uh, the, uh, same data. In our program, as you can see, uh, we can get uh, odds ratio from log linear analysis. The first coefficients here to calculate odds ratio uh, is from uh, effect coding. And the second coefficients here are from dummy coding. Let me show you how to get log linear coefficients from saturated model with effect coding here and then I will show you how to convert this effect coding coefficients to dummy coding coefficients okay so this is a uh, formula uh, to get uh, log linear coefficients so mu uh, can be calculated by sum of log, free, uh, cell, log of cell frequency and over 4 Okay, 2 by 2 by 2. Okay. Then mu uh, 1 here uh, can be calculated by sum of d2, d3 over 2 minus mu. All right. Uh, in log linear analysis, there is a restriction. So uh, sum of two uh, these coefficients uh, must be uh, zero. So this one is equal to minus mu one one. This one, okay. Uh, for mu two, uh, j equals one. This one, d uh, two plus d four here over 2 minus g2 here All right then uh, this one is minus this one All right and this is interaction term uh, in saturated model so it can be calculated by mm, d2 here uh, 1 comma 1 uh, 1 comma 1 here i equals 1 j equals 1 here minus mm, d2 plus d4 over 2 minus mm, this one D2 plus D4 minus 2. Actually, it should be D3 here. Okay. And plus sum of log of cell frequency over 4. This one. Okay. And also we need to consider uh, restriction. So this one should be minus this one. And again, minus this one. And the last term must be equal to this one. All right. Then this, uh, this is the uh, coefficients for effect coding. 
Remember, there is a restriction for mu1 and mu2 and mu12. We can convert effect coding, this one, to uh, dummy coding. So the mu uh, can be calculated by uh, mu from effect coding plus mu1 plus mu2 plus mu12. Okay, ah, this one, g2, g3, g5, g7. Right, this is same as this one. Right, uh, in dummy coding, we, uh, as you can see, it says row 2, column 2. It means that uh, the first one uh, is, uh, is set to be uh, 0. Then this one can be calculated by uh, 2 plus G9 times 2. Okay. This one is same as this one. And for this one, uh, G, uh, mu2 can be calculated by G6 times 2 uh, plus G8 times 2. Okay. Same as this one. Right. And the interaction term, so it should be 0, 0, 0. And we, we can uh, multiply by 4. This one is same as this one. So this is the uh, coefficients from inter uh, interaction term. So we can actually the uh, log uh, log odds ratio is from interaction term uh, from log linear analysis uh, with the dummy coding. So it can be calculated by exponential of coefficients of dummy coding here. Right, same. So, uh, I in this video I try to show you how we can calculate uh, odds ratio uh, with different methods. I hope it was useful for you to understand uh, how to calculate odds ratio and what it means. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.